Hi everyone, this is New Sensei. I've covered a reasonable range of bows on my channel, but there are some brands I haven't yet touched. This is mostly because they are less common in shops and therefore their distribution is less widespread. This doesn't mean they are bad bows, they just have fewer partnerships. Nonetheless, some of these bows fit nicely into the budget of many beginners and intermediate shooters. One of these brands is Kaya. Kaya is a Korean brand and they do make several recurve risers. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Kaya K3. I know many of us are more used to seeing designs from Hoyt or Win and Win, and they have distinct shapes and designs. Even SF has a distinct design. The Kaya bow and the K3 in particular looks quite different in appearance. It doesn't have the cutouts and the uh, contours that the other bows have. Uh, this is a carbon riser. As you can see, it's all black with some nice red accents. So it's actually quite a nice looking riser. I mean, you wouldn't really find this kind of alignment with other bows. It's not bad, it's actually quite interesting. So I'd say if you get a Kaya K3, you will at least look different to the other Hoyt and Win Win users. The Kaya K3 is a standard ILF bow, as you can see here. It also has the standard bushings for top, middle, and bottom stabilizers, as well as the uh, clicker mount and the bushings for the plunger button. You can see the limb adjustment system here. So it has two large bolts on the side, here and here, but it's different to other limb adjustment systems. Uh, this one, you have to loosen the nut inside here, and that allows you to move the bar here, left and right. The limb pocket is quite interesting. Most risers have a flat surface where you can slide the limb over and it locks in. The K3 has a hollow limb pocket in here. So the limb actually slides and rests on top of the bar here and it locks into the bolt there. The grip is very good. It's plastic, though it has the same finish as the rest of the bow. So the texture is the same all the way through. It isn't too slippery, but it also isn't the rough rubber material. The shape is reminiscent of a Hoyt design. So you can see the shape of the grip there being very much like a pistol grip. I have a more pronounced bottom here and the hand slides in quite nicely. Uh, I think it feels more like a mix between a Hoyt grip and an SF grip. Uh, nothing wrong with it, very nice grip. It does allow you to get the right feel uh, on your hand very easily. In regard to the weight and balance of the K3, it is a little hefty. It's not heavy, uh, definitely not aluminium heavy, uh, but for a carbon bow, that does feel like some weight to it. Do note that the center of the riser is quite thin, but the top and bottom of the riser have wider, thicker limb pockets. The result is that the riser is heavier on the ends and lighter in the middle. It is balanced, and in fact, if you hold it out like this, uh, there is a noticeable lack of lateral movement. It tends to stay centered because of the way the heavy uh, top and bottom uh, hold it in place. It is a little top and bottom heavy, so if you're not using a stabilizer, you will notice that the uh, riser will tip back quite dramatically. This is something you normally see in aluminium bows. Not a bad thing, but you will have to compensate for the balance uh, if you're using stabilizers. My first impression in holding the bow is that it's a pretty good bow. It looks nice. For someone who is going into archery and buying off the shelf, if you saw this, this is a little subliminal compared to the Hoyt and Win and Win bows, which tend to be larger and flashier, but there's certainly nothing wrong with using this as an entry level to intermediate bow. Let's put it together and see how it works. So this is the bow set up. Uh, it looks quite nice when it's uh, fully strung. Uh, the shape definitely has a good look to it. Um, I'll be using my own 40 pound EX power limbs, uh, and of course we'll be doing some bare bow shooting to begin. So let's give it a shot.
This is actually a really nice riser. My first impressions after shooting this is that it has good feedback. It's a solid riser. It doesn't feel uh, particularly shaky. It doesn't feel like there's too much vibration. It feels actually just right. It definitely has the hallmark of some of those high end competitive bows where it feels smooth to shoot. And the riser, again, the grip is nice. The feeling of the riser is just right. It gives you enough feedback so you know what you're doing. Um, and it feels quite satisfying. Oh, that is definitely a nice bow to shoot. Um, I switched my finger tab out, by the way. I'm using um, a standard leather tab without the uh, ledge, because the ledge interferes with my anchor with the bare bow. Hence why my shooting normally sucks with bare bow. I use uh, finger tabs for Olympic anchors, not bare bow. So uh, using proper anchor now. Yeah, that is satisfying. That is... Good feedback. Um, I don't feel much difference between the K3 and the bows I often test out. It definitely stands up against those bows. Well, so far my impressions are very positive. You can definitely be consistent with this riser. I think the uh, grip and feel are just right. Uh, the riser does market itself as, what did it say here, um, sportiness, power and light. I think it definitely ticks all three. It definitely is a nice sporty bow. It does have a feeling of power and it is light. So here we have the full setup, sight, stabilizer, no clicker. Uh, that's not for me, so I'll shoot without one. Uh, and my first impression with the full setup, this feels like a real Olympic bow. It doesn't have the price tag of one, nor does it look like uh, a Hoyt or win and win, but it definitely feels like one, and that's saying a lot, and I think that's the uh, message that I'm getting across in this review. I think you might be pleasantly surprised, given that you don't often see KO bows, the K3 bow, this is a surprise package, and I think that uh, given that it handled quite well as a bear bow, I think with the Olympic setup, this should be even better. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with the bow. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, well, wow, that's hard to judge. Uh, I definitely wouldn't rank it high with the top end compared to bows, like the uh, Winwin TFT, but that's like $500 more. This is definitely a good mid-level bow. Uh, I really can't find anything I would fault about this as far as its handling goes. So as you can see, the sights are slightly off, but Again, if you can get a grouping like this with any bow, then it's a good bow. So, my overall thoughts on the K3. I like the bow. I think this is a worthy bow. Uh, again, it is middle of the price range. I believe you can get this from around 350 US dollars. So, it's not a very common bow. 
but there's definitely nothing wrong with the bow as far as shooting goes. Um, it has a good high quality carbon feel. Now, as I said, it doesn't have that dream touch which you would get from a thousand dollar riser. But as far as mid-level bows goes, um, this is definitely a contender. Uh, I would definitely say this is comparable to the Hoyt Horizon or the SF Forge Plus or even the Win X. So these bows are good for entry level to intermediate. I feel that if you get one of these bows, you can grow into it quite well. And yeah, just because you don't see it on the target line often doesn't mean it's a bad bow. Um, I really do think the KK3 has impressed me. The feedback has been solid. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, I definitely agree with the lightness. Now, like I said, it does tend to be heavy on the pocket areas, but the riser itself is rather delicate at the grip. So, yeah, I actually do like this bow. I think if I started archery and I wanted to just buy a mid-level riser that wasn't going to blow my budget, but it was something I wanted to enjoy for quality, then I would actually buy this bow. This particular bow has a lot of history at the club because it's owned by at least three different people at the club now, and it feels nice to bring it back and shoot it. And I think all three users have or will get good mileage out of it. So I give this the thumbs up. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.